Hello everyone and welcome to another video and today's disturbing video is coming out of Tennessee. Mm. But before we get started, if you like the videos on this channel, if you enjoy the commentary on this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's get into this article. Tennessee man accused of dipping testicles in customer's salsa. Oh, that sounds so disgusting. Ooh. Okay, let's see what's happening. And they have a picture of salsa. <laughs> okay, this story is coming out of Murrayville, Tennessee. A Tennessee man was jailed on felony charges after appearing to dip his testicles into a container of salsa that a customer had ordered online. Oh my goodness, that is so disgusting. And I'm going to tell you, I order food online all the time. And I know where I live, the food is normally like sealed in a bag or stapled in a bag. And I'm I'm, I'm thinking that's probably just standard practice. So if that was the case, that means that this man had to have taken the food out the bag. He must have had another staple to seal it back up. I, I don't know. This is just terrible. He had to pull his pants down, pull his underwear, put his put his balls with his testicles in there. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. Mm. The delivery driver allegedly recorded it and posted a video online saying, this is what you get when you give an 89 cent tip for an almost 30 minute drive. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh God, it's not funny. It's not funny, but, and I'm not condoning that behavior at all, but I cannot believe that the driver actually posted the video online and they were upset because they only got an 89, 89 cent tip. Y'all, when are people going to learn about the internet? The internet is no joke. Now, they thought they were going to post him doing something that disgusting and nobody was going to find out about it. And, I, and they probably put it on Facebook, Instagram, or some platform where the video was easy to be found. Oh, this is just so crazy. News outlets report that the passenger, so it wasn't even the driver, 31-year-old Howard Matthew Webb was arrested last week and charged with adulteration of food. Okay, so the driver actually did record it, the person that was in the car with them, doing this to the food. Ugh. See, that's another thing. You know, people signing up to deliver food, deliver packages and all that, and you can bring people with you. You know, you don't know who who they're bringing with you. They're not they're not vetted by the by the company they're driving for. You know, I guess you know a lot of these companies do allow you to have passengers, but wow, you as the driver, and this is the way you're making money, and you would record a video, put your livelihood on on the line for someone who's a passenger that's just helping you for the night. Man, this, this is just so disgusting. I hope to God that they found out what he had done before they actually ate that food. Ugh. It just makes you want to gag. Woo. And I'm quite sure this is not an isolated incident. It probably goes on more often than we know. Y'all, treat your food handlers. <laughs> treat your food handlers good, I'm telling you. Even when you upset, you know, don't let them see you get too upset because they will do things to your food, unthinkable things to your food. So you got to be real careful. If you're going to complain, complain after the fact, you know, don't complain before you get your food. That goes for delivery. That goes for eating in a restaurant. Anybody that's handling your food, you know, just, you know, if you're upset with them, don't go off immediately. Wait till you get your food first. <clears throat> um, <laughs> news outlets report that the passenger, 31-year-old Howard Matthew Webb, was arrested last week and charged with adulteration of food. Wow, I've never even heard of that. So they have a crime for that. Okay. Dinner Delivered said the food service has fired the driver and forwarded information about her to authorities as well. Okay, so this was a female driver. She drove for... 
dinner delivered. I haven't heard of dinner delivered. We don't have it where I live, but, you know, it's it's probably the same type of service as Uber Eats and uh, Postmates and Grubhub and, you know, all those food delivery services. So the, the, the girl was a female. Man, I hope this is not another case where a girl allowed her boyfriend to do something that was so messed up. And now, of course, she's suffering the consequences and she's losing her job. But then again, she wasn't so innocent because her dumb tail recorded it and posted it online. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Webb remains behind bars pending a March 12th hearing. Okay, now this is probably a story I'm going to follow up on because I want to know, first of all, who this girl is, who this female is that uh, recorded this and had this passenger in her car, you know, tainting people's food with his bodily fluids and hairs and whatever else. And I don't even want to think about it. Okay, let me move on. His arrest, his arrest warrant says they picked up the food for delivery from a local Mexican restaurant. The company issued a refund for the tainted food. Okay, so the restaurant now has lost money. The, the restaurant did the right thing. If I had a restaurant, even though it wasn't my fault that that dumb passenger in her car decided that he wanted to do something disgusting with people's food, even though it was his fault. As the restaurant chain, they did the right thing. So anyway, that is the article for today. If you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.